Welcome to another photography video with me, Leon Bartrop, where I'm going to show you in this video how to take the perfect self-take catch shots with this a DSLR camera with the aid of one of these, an intervalometer. If it's the first time you've come across this channel and you like these type of videos, then you may want to think about subscribing. If you are a subscriber or you do subscribe, then hit that bell notification icon and you'll never miss another one of these videos again. Well, you know what it's like. You get your price capture, lovely fish, and you want to take a perfect shot of it. There's no one else around. You've got yourself a DSLR camera, but no one to use it. You know, a long time ago, I used to rely on people taking my shots for me. You know, I had the latest DSLR camera, all singing, all dancing, but it's only as good as the person behind the camera. So I decided to look at different ways how I could take perfect self-take shots without having to bother anyone, nighttime, daytime, or if I'm fishing on a lake where there's no one else about, what are you gonna do? So that's how I learned to use something called an intervalometer. What is an intervalometer, you may ask yourself? Well, it's a remote timer shutter release system, which is technical, but for you and me, it will allow us to take the perfect catch shots with our DSLR camera. It's used a lot by professional photographers for taking shots like time lapses. You know those shots where the clouds are drifting across the sky? That's what these guys use to be able to take these shots. I'm going to show you how we can use this intervalometer to our benefit. There's various functions in this kit that we can set to be able to take that perfect shot. There's lots of different intervalometers out there. Some cameras even have built-in intervalometers, the high-end ones. If you're a Canon user or a Nikon user or a Sony user, there's an intervalometer specifically designed for that camera. So it's not just one bit of kit. Whatever camera you've got, it's really important that you buy the intervalometer which is set up to match to your camera. Now, they range anything from about 10 quid all the way up to hundreds of quid. You can even get a Wi-Fi Bluetooth ones, which you don't have to plug in. This particular one that I use cost me 11 quid, okay, from Amazon. Now, don't worry, I'm gonna put the links down in the description below with any details, anything that you need to know and where you can actually get one of these from. I'll put one in there for Nikon, I'll put one in there for Canon, and if I find one the Sony, I'll put one in there also for that. Well, there's a couple of things you've got to do to your camera first before you can set this intervalometer up. Always make sure that your camera's set to autofocus. Make sure you're all set up, you fill the frame, make sure your camera's set up properly, you've got your unlooking mat in position, you've got everything to hand, all ready to go, all ready to rock and roll. Because there's no point trying to set up your camera and everything when you've got the fish on the mat. Get your camera and everything all set up first. Set it to autofocus, get your intervalometer, put your two AAA batteries in your kit, because most of these take two AAA batteries. And you've got to set it to take a certain amount of photos in delays for what expose you want. The first thing you're gonna see is delay. Now that's the time in between when you press the start button on the bit of kit that it takes to actually start taking the cycle that you're gonna program into here before it starts taking that first shot. So I normally set it to about five seconds. So I press the button, I go back to my fish, get it all ready. I mean, you can set it to 10 seconds. I set it to five, because the beauty of this is you can set it not to just take one shot, it could take up to 399. So you've got plenty of time, you don't have to rush about. I just set it for five seconds because I want the cycle to start quickly. You set it to five seconds, that's the first bit set. Next one is long, how long you want the exposure to. I normally set that between two and three seconds. Now the reason being for this is, so the camera, if it's slightly out of focus, it's got time to focus in for when you're holding that fish. If you set it to one second, it might be slightly out of focus, because don't forget, you've got it on autofocus. So it might be taking a shot, and you're halfway between picking the fish up, and it might be focusing on the head, or the thing behind you, until you're ready. So then when it takes the shot, it's gonna be out of focus. So I always set it between two to three seconds to make sure the camera can do its work and refocus into the fish on this cycle that we're creating. Next setting is interval. With the interval between taking shots, I normally set it to about five seconds again, five to seven seconds. So what it does, it takes that shot, waits five to seven seconds, takes another shot, waits five to seven seconds, takes another shot, so you get the idea. So you can set it 10 seconds. But as I said before, it doesn't really matter because the next setting, which is the number of shots, I always set to the maximum, which is 399. So even if you start off and the fish is messing about, don't panic, just take your time, hold the fish up, and by this time it's taking the cycles of shots, it's auto-focusing into the fish, and it might be the tenth cycle, it might be the tenth shot where you actually start getting the fish all okay. That's the beauty of this 
bit of kit, this interval on there, is that you don't have to panic. The camera's working in a cycle. It's going to do 399 shots for you, as if someone was behind the camera doing the shots for you themselves. There's another setting on there, which is sound on and off. I like the sound on, because then I can hear it counting down. So I know roughly where we're at, you know, with the fish, where I'm holding it, when the next shot's going to be taken. All you need to do is set it up like that, like I've shown you. I mean, you can put your own settings in there, but that's the settings I use for the Canon. It's going to be the same for the Nikon. It's going to be the same for Sony. They're sort of a set amount of settings that I use. You press the start button, you take your time, you don't rush, you get back to the fish, you get the fish ready, you know, maybe pour, maybe pour a bit of water on it, hoist it up all safely, get it all ready, and it's taking those shots continuously. Now, when you're happy, you've taken the right number of shots that you've got everything in focus and everything's okay, which is the beauty of using a turnaround screen on your camera if you've got one. You know, a lot of Canons have them now and Nikons. You can see if it's, you know, if it's right. But you can always stop that, readjust your camera so you fill the frame a bit more, which I do sometimes. Again, pick the fish up, get it all ready, lovely like that, and it's taking shots already for you. So you're going to get, out, say you take 30 shots, you're going to get some of them, which are going to be absolutely perfect with no stress, no hassle, no stress to the fish. You're just getting him up, getting him all ready, or her, getting it, getting it sorted, and then you're smiling for the camera, and it's taking the shots. So it's gonna take a lot of shots, but the beauty of that is, one, two, three, four, five of them shots are gonna be exactly perfect what you want. So that's the intervalometer. One last thing I will say is that don't forget to take your batteries out, the back of your intervalometer, because it will still keep on running, and it'll waste your batteries all the way down. Now, I hope that's been helpful to you. If you've got any questions or comments, put them in the description below in the comment section and I'll try and answer them for you. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you may want to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you for the next video.